Well, here we are then. You've tuned in for another Wayne's Electrical. Uh, yes, what we got then in front of the camera this time is a Panasonic boombox. Okay, uh, it is one of three Panasonic boomboxes that I own, and funnily enough, all of my Panasonic boomboxes are uh, very similar looking to that. Okay, now. What we got up in front of the camera this time round is an RX-C36L. Okay. So there it is. It's, uh... How can I word this? Well... I wouldn't call it a basic box. I mean, it's got a five-band graphic equaliser right next to the tape deck there. So, you know, you can uh, shape the sound as if it were. It's got a balance control on it. Okay, it's even got a dedicated line-in function on the uh, function selector. A uh, four-band radio once again with fine-tuning for the uh, shortwave. Okay, so I wouldn't call it a basic box, but... Uh, yeah, you know, it's got all the, all the features and all that business. But what I will say is, uh, you know, for the tape deck, it is just like what I call for, like, normal cassettes. Okay, you could probably play back chrome and metal cassettes in it, but uh, they may sound a bit not right, because you can't select uh, what type, uh, type of tape you're putting in there. Okay, so, let's get that camera a bit closer in. And, uh, well, let's have a look at all those controls above the tape deck. Okay, the operation of the tape deck is rather much like it is on all the others. Okay, where you get your, uh, you know, your stop and eject, fast forward, rewind, pause, record, uh, and the play button, of course. Okay, so let's uh, zoom in a bit then and have a look at all the controls right along the top, just above the tape deck then. Okay then, slide the camera along and straight off. Now we've got a phones jack on this one, headphones. Now that is one of those silly little three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jacks. Okay, so you can plug your uh, headphones in there off your pod thing if you really wanted to. Or if you wanted to put put in proper uh, what I call head, uh, hi-fi headphones, you'd need an adapter to plug in there. To convert it from the three and a half millimeter up to the six point one. Okay. Next along, then we've got balance control. Perfect. If you've uh, got a tape recorder and it's slightly off, you can adjust that and make it level again. Moving along a bit, then an all important control to make the boombox woof, and that's the volume control. Okay. Uh, next one along, it says FM mode or BP. Now, BP is beat proof, okay, I believe. Uh, other manufacturers call it beat cut. Why is more camera gone? Right, we're back. Okay, other manufacturers call it beat cut or uh, something, you know, something like that. So, uh, from the top then, all the way down, we've got stereo uh, 3, stereo 2, and then mono. Now, it doesn't actually say whether or not that top one is like a stereo-wide function. But it might be, it might not be. I don't know. I'm unsure. Moving along then, we've got our... Oh, dear. Come along, camera. You're supposed to be a good camera. Is that going to go or is it not? Manual focus. That's, that's gone now. Right, we have to get the camera right up to it then. I'm probably... Uh, Using far too much flip and zoom. Right then, selector. Down the bottom, then we've got tape, and the next one, radio, and the next one is line. Now, line is your auxiliary input on the back of it, so you can uh, put your uh, pod thing in there if you want and listen to it coming out on the 1980s boombox if you really have to. 
Okay, it's ideal for that. Or you can put like a turntable in there or anything like that. As long as it's lined level and you can feed it into the back, you can do it. Okay, on other boom boxes, you've got to do this thing, which is uh, what I call uh, push record for auxiliary. And that's basically, it's, it's a really stupid function where basically, to get anything through the line input to come out on the speakers, you've got to put a tape in and press record, and it really does tick me right off. Okay, there's some, there are actually some nice boom boxes out there that have been let down by that. Not that one. Okay, we do actually have a dedicated line in function on the selector there. Moving along then, we've got another selector for choosing the band when you're listening to the radio. Up top, we've got FM, and then long wave, medium wave, which is the same as AM. And then short wave down the bottom. Moving along, we've got fine tuning, if you're using, uh, that is for short wave. And then the next control above that, that little wheel there, that is for tuning the radio, of course. And like a lot of my other boom boxes, it's tuned in with a piece of string. Okay, when you turn that, it just operates a pulley. And it moves that uh, little indicator in in there, backwards and forwards, along that scale. Okay. And then uh, it goes down the back into all the electronical mambo jambo and tunes the radio in for you. Moving along then and downwards a bit, we got the five band graphic equaliser. And there it is, right there. Almost uh, buried the camera in the floor then. So, uh, like a lot of uh, graphic equalizers, the one over to the left is your bass, and the one over to the right is your treble, and then the one slap in the middle is your mid range, and then you've got a couple of others just to tweak it up as you want. Uh, we've got 100 hertz, 330 hertz, 1 kilohertz, it's at 3.3 kilohertz, and 10 kilohertz. Okay, for that. So there we go. And you see the model number just above that. It says RX C36. Right there. Uh, two way speakers. We've got like a woofer there. And in there, I believe, creaky tripod is one of those silly little like piezo tweeters. They're not proper, what I call proper tweeters, where you get like a little magnet on the back and a little uh, cone. Okay, it's just like a funny little metal disc in there. And uh, they're called piezo tweeters. I don't like, really like those, so I sometimes question whether they make sound at all. But they're in there. Okay. Let's have a look at the tape deck then, the buttons on it, because from one manufacturer to the, to the next, the, uh, the layout and sequence of the buttons varies. Okay. Let's wait for that camera to focus again, if it will. Because we're uh, a bit too far away again. Right, that should focus now. Why is it not focusing? Righty-o then. That's better. My camera's having a funny five minutes tonight. So, from the left over to the right then, we've got the record button, which is a bit of an unusual place to put it, because uh, normally that's stopping the jack right there, but, they, you know, like I say, from, it changes from one manufacturer to the next. So you've got record, and then you've got play, rewind, fast forward, then you've got the stop and eject and the pause. Okay, so there it is, rather sort of basic. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the one... Uh, let me have a look inside. Now this is actually the mechanical one. I'll do one more Panasonic's... Uh... It's a motor-driven tape deck, okay? When you push a button... Uh, the motor moves the tape head up onto the cassette. Okay, this one's a, just a mechanical one. It's the direct action one. Okay, so there we are. So, yeah, that's uh, overall then. The uh, little Panasonic RX C36. It's a nice little boomer. Now, this being the way it's laid out, it is a three-piece boomer. If I can do it. There you go. Three piece boomer then. Now some people don't like three piece boomers for some reason. Uh, they do have their uses. Okay, you can actually have a centre unit there and you can move the speakers further apart. 
to uh, like widen out the stereo sound if you really wanted to. Okay, there was a certain appeal, uh, you know, back in the 80s to having a three-piece box, and I've got a feeling it was supposed to be to give it a bit like that sort of uh, like a portable miniature hi-fi sort of arrangement. Okay, some speakers did actually have a little keyhole thing at the back, and you could put a screw in the wall, and you can hang speakers on the wall. Okay, so it done all that, and uh, okay. For portability, you can attach the speakers to the boom box, and it was a portable unit once again. So it, it was trying to be a portable unit, but when you took the speakers off, it was supposed to sort of mimic a hi-fi, where you had the speakers on the wall and all of that stuff. Okay, something you, you can't do with a one-piece box. And, uh, yeah, that was the decision you made when you went into the shop. Do you get a one-piece box, or do you get something like that up in front of the camera? Now... After the break, we're going to spin that around, we'll have a look at the specifications on it, all the jacks on the back of it and all that lot. Uh, don't go anywhere, it'll be straight up after this, you don't need to move them up or we'll press any buttons, just bear with me a moment. Okay then, we're back after the break. Uh, there's a specification plate on the back there. Again, for some unknown reason, it's a bit of a uh, basic one. It just says what voltage is, how many batteries it uses, and that's a lot. It doesn't tell you what the uh, the pickup bands are for on the radio. But there it is, model number RX-C36L. Uh, 240 volts, it's only a 15 watt little box. Uh, six digitized batteries for that. Okay, so there it is. Now, jacks them, like I was saying in the uh, other part of the video. Well, we've got a nice little selection there. Now, those two round ones, you've got a red one and a white one, they are for your line in. Okay, red is right and white is left. Uh, those other ones where you got the wires going in there for the speakers, okay, now some of them did do that where you've got like the little toggles and you just shove wires in there and let go of them, it's sprung loaded sort of thing. And some of them, and I do actually have, I believe it's some other Panasonic box, instead of uh, having those on there you do actually have little 3.5mm mono jacks and these wires on here. You've actually got a, a, a mono jack plug on the end of it, and you just stuff it straight in there, which is a bit easier. Okay. So, yeah. So that's your jacks on the back of it, then. Moving along, we've got the one for the power that goes in there. Okay. So there it is. And that's basically, that covers the back, then, of the Panasonic RX C36. It's right there. Okay, we've got the antenna on the back there. And there it is, I think that basically wraps that one up. I'm going to turn it around then, and we'll do the measurements. Now, once again, what I'm going to do is, as per a lot of the other boom boxes when I'm measuring them up, we're going to do two heights, one with the handle up and the other one with the handle down. Uh, you might not be able to see the tape measure from where you're sitting, I'm just going to call out a few numbers. So then, with the handle up, we are looking at about 10 inch, or that would be 200 and 255 millimeters. And with the handle down, uh, you'd be looking at just under 8 inch, or that would be 195 millimeters tall. The width of it then. With the, this is with the speakers attached. Uh, you'd be looking at a 20 inch or 510 millimeters wide. And for the depth, I'm not going to do it right to the back because I could measure it from there to there. But if I move the camera along a bit, you can see that the main unit's got an extra bit that sticks out. 
and also you've got to take into account the size of the plugs when you're putting them in the back and if you've got jack the jacks in the back of there so I'm going to allow about that much space in the back so your total depth then would be if I allowed for the plugs that go in the back uh, call it about seven and a half inches then or 190 millimeters okay there's the, the tape measure down there okay seven inches there uh, I said seven and a half didn't I seven and a half inches then or 190 millimeters okay so you've got if you imagine that going along there if that's a wall there and you've got your plugs in the back okay and you when you're most other bits of electronics you don't put them right up to the wall because there's ventilation slots in the back and you've got to allow air to get in there so you never put it right up to a wall you always allow a bit of space at the back anyway okay so we've got to wrap this one up then There it is. So what we've been looking at then, and this one is a Panasonic RX-C36L. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, yes. I hope you enjoyed that watching that one. A little bit later on, we will do more boomboxes on Wayne's Electrical. Because I've got a few more to do. And uh, yes. Okay, thumbs up and all that lot. Uh, subscribe if you want to because uh, it saves you from having to miss out on the future boombox videos. Uh, 1920 by 1080 p full HD of course with stereo sound on the camera. And we got all of that. Okay, we've got uh, well, more boomboxes coming up later on as and when. But now on this one it's been another Wayne Electrical production and thanks for watching.